I get asked this a lot. Can you use AI for investigations? Well, the short answer is yes, but with a few important caveats. I've been an investigator for many, many years now, and I've probably been using AI for about 18 months now. Uh, and I use them regularly as part of my workflow. And I find that when they're used properly, they can save you a lot of time. So what I want to talk about is just let's look at some of the quick wins first. It can be a fantastic problem solver. You're stuck with something, go over to your AI, your chosen AI platform, type in a question. Uh, really good for that. Step-by-step -step guides, for example. It can help you find credible online sources faster, much quicker than Google. Again, it will depend on you know, the, the way you frame your question. It can summarize long or complex pages, even translate foreign language material. And I found it can draft a report template or even structure your findings. There are huge advantages, especially when you're dealing with vast amounts of information or even tight deadlines. So used intelligently, AI will take care of those repetitive, time-consuming aspects of your work, freeing you up to think critically and interpret that data. And that's the important thing. Interpret what really matters. So there are some limitations and they're serious. Most public AI tools such as ChatGPT or Perplexity, which is my favored um, AI platform, store and process your queries in ways you cannot always control. So if you're entering sensitive data, let's say client information, financial details, or personal identifiers such as email addresses, telephone numbers, etc., you may be breaching privacy or even data protection laws. So make sure you understand your legitimate interest for those sorts of investigations. And it's, all, it's also important to remember that AI doesn't always verify its sources. I find that perplexity does that quite well, but they still have to be checked. Sometimes it will provide you answers that sound right, but not necessarily. And I've had examples where um, I, it's returned a non-story or even made a story up. So uh, it's really important, particularly if you work in the area of compliance or due diligence, that can become a problem because accuracy and provenance, i.e. sourcing, audit, uh, everything. So whilst it's tempting to rely on AI, AI on its own, for regulated investigations, AML due diligence, you need something more reliable and secure. And you may think, well, I'll just Google it. I may, or another search engine, use databases, etc. Now, search engines, particularly nowadays, are returning millions of results, often irrelevant, unverified, and it's time consuming to sift through all of that. AI can summarize them, but it doesn't always understand the context. That's where the human brain, the investigative mindset comes in. Uh, and that's why we built Investigation Engine. It's pre-configured specifically for AML and due diligence investigations, pulling through credible regulatory approved sources for sanctions, PEPs and adverse media. You don't need to write complex prompts because it's all done for you. You don't need to worry about data security because we don't store the searches and it's our system that's querying the data sources for you. And it's designed to give you fast, relevant and audit ready results. So yes, AI absolutely has a place in investigative work when used wisely. But for compliance, due diligence and financial crime prevention, you need a system that's built for purpose. Investigation Engine brings together speed, reliability, and that human investigative insight. So you can trust what you're seeing and prove what you've done. And if you want to try it free for seven days, reach out to me uh, and start seeing the risks that others are missing.